Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Walker Menino, senior at Jesuit. I'm here today representing my twin brother and I. I like to start off by quoting Michael Jordan. He says, my mother is my root, my foundation. She planted the seed I based my life on. And that is the belief, the ability to achieve starts in your mind. At Jesuit High School and in my own life, I have learned that I want to strive to become the greatest man I can. In striving to reach my goals, I have, to stay, I have to take a step back and recognize the one person in my life that is mostly responsible for that, and that is my mother. Whether I wanted to be a doctor, lawyer, priest, accountant, or businessman, everything I do is, is inspired by my mom and what she has taught me. When looking back throughout my life, there have been four major experiences that showed to me the important role my mother plays in my life. So the first experience. When I was about eight years old, every day after school, I would run in, do my homework, then run outside and play some basketball or football, usually with my neighbor and my twin brother. Well, one day uh, we were playing basketball and uh, my neighbor shot a three, the three pointer and I thought he stepped on the line. So I called it and he got really angry at me, but it was like the imaginary line, you know, it's like kind of understood, but really not there. So we started screaming at each other and he screamed at me and then I ran inside screaming, I'm just never gonna be friends with you ever again, like you're a liar. So we, I run inside, my mom just sees me crying and screaming and she says, uh, like, calm down, like what's wrong? So she calms me down and she's like, okay, well now you gotta go apologize for freaking out. I look at her, I'm like, she's crazy. I'm like, you, oh my. So I sit there and I'm just like, I'm not going. And then slowly she convinces me to go. So I go over, I knock on his door and he's not there. I'm just so happy. Uh, I run back to my house and I'm like, mom, he's not home. I, I just can't apologize. And she was like, oh, you're going to. So she made me write a letter. And uh, I never really knew the meaning of that letter uh, because I was too young. But that letter really showed me that making amends and apologizing, owning up to your mistakes is really uh, all that matters in life. You make mistakes and you have to own up and uh, come, come like, true. And uh, that neighbor, he's still my neighbor today, but he goes to Newman. We made the right choice, mom, don't worry. Uh, and so, uh, my second experience was in second grade. I was playing the game Mancala. And in playing the game, I had like a little altercation with uh, one of my classmates and I got a warning slip, but we call it PH. So I was sent home and I was, I was grounded by my mom for a few weeks and I couldn't go out and play basketball and stuff. And I was, I was wondering like, why do moms punish us? Like, why not just say like, do better next time? So I found out like later in life, I was like, they really do love us and they really want the best for us. That's why they punish us. So even out of discipline, like even out of times of discipline, you really, tru you really truly find the love of your mother. Thirdly, uh, my mom comes to every football game I have, uh, but she doesn't even really like the game of football, I think. She, comes, she doesn't even really come to the games to see me play, because in reality, I don't really play a lot. I'm on the bench more than I'm on the field. Uh, but every game she's there, and she's my biggest fan, and she's always on my side. And we joke about still today about the football scholarship is gonna come from Alabama, don't worry. Uh, lastly, when I was younger, I asked my mom why we go to church. Cause I was just a little toddler, just sitting in church, just mind my own business, eating some uh, Cheerios or something. I asked my mom why we go to church. And she said, well, the time spent in mass, you'll really find out what God's plans are for you and how you're gonna better your community. And I never really understood that, but now that I'm 18 and I have a, I have a pretty good idea of what I wanna do in life and what man I wanna be. And I found that out through my faith and through moments in prayer. Uh, with all that being said, I want to tell you, gentlemen, that your, mother, your mother's love is not easy to grasp. They do things that we have no clue why, but they do everything out of love for you. Mothers out there, thank you for everything you do for us, uh, giving us a shoulder to lean on, helping us with homework, making our lunch when we're rushing out in the morning, and things I couldn't even bring to words. To my own mother, thank you for putting up with me for all these years. I know, it's not, it, I know it may not seem that I appreciate you a lot, but I really do love you. Thank you.